Welcome everybody. Um, so this video is for our crew and for anyone who is looking to get an Ed Sheeran Looper X. And the question is, is it worth it? So uh, right off the bat, um, I'm going to ask your question. Yes, 100%. Uh, if you are interested in looping, you want to learn how to loop, this is the pedal you get. It is just, uh, just beyond amazing how awesome this pedal is. Um, even, well, just for me, my use, it has completely changed my sound in my live stream. I'm a live streamer. That's what I like to do all the time. Um, typically, I was using a Boss RC300, and I paired that with um, my Line 6 Helix to get all my effects. Uh, but this thing has been an absolute game changer. And so I can go into detail about why I enjoy it and why it might, you know, you know get you over the mark if you wanted to buy this in particular. Now, just for the like get go just the, the start of this conversation uh i see multi-track loopers as any looper pedal that has more than two tracks so anything that has two or less tracks uh i don't like them they are not my friends i <laughs> if you're an rc30 fan or even if you're a looper plus fan like the edge and looper plus i can't endorse them i don't like them they add extra layers of complexity and i'm a dum dumb so i don't like pushing extra buttons when i don't need to so just to be clear um before you would jump into the looper plus i would 100 percent be going for a cheaper rc3 or a 300 or whatever the series it's up to now um but 100 percent recommendation is in the long term you would want this bad boy because and save up your money uh, sell a kidney, you only need one. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, how you would get the Looper X because this thing is just super amazing. So if anyone's asking questions like in the in the comments, like why, like what, what uh, would you recommend the Looper Plus? Would you reckon the like RC30 or whatever? Like what's a smaller Looper that you'd recommend? If you're going down that route, um, I don't serve that audience very much. Um, it's not something that I'm into. I have a looping course for beginners and I do talk about that. Um, I have the links in the description for you guys. If you're into beginner looping, it's free. Jump in, have fun. Uh, but this, like for looping, I need multi-tracks. I need it to be really easy. I need to be creative. I need to be in the flow. I don't want to be thinking about a lot of stuff outside of the music. And so this thing is an absolute beast. So I've got it here on the video, the little clip of it. Um, so what we're going to do is, by the way, did you just see how fast I cleared my loop? Oh my God, it is so good. Now, I got this loop pedal. It was a donation from our stream community. They were absolutely amazing and generous. You can see them on the plaque there, all the names. Uh, if you zoom in, you'll see them. Um, they're absolute legends. And Patty at the top, she was the one who slam ducked the donation goal. But uh, my workflow with it is just to get my guitar out, get like so get my harmony out, get my my beats in, get my bass in, and then whatever fills, and then I start playing the song. Uh, I typically use the loop pedal as an adder to the arrangement, like it's an, an effect to the arrangement of the song. Um, I don't go into heavy like effects. I don't go into heavy like arrangement style to be like a one man band. I look at like the super talented loopers like Carl Walkner and Bernhoft and stuff like that. They're like the they're like the looping artists in my opinion. They're the guys that are coming up with the really crazy arrangements. They have amazing understanding of sound and effects and things like that and they build up instrumentation. I look at the Sheeran Looper as like you're getting your song out real quick and you're getting the effects in really really fast and you getting that arrangement ready and boom, you're playing the song and you're connecting. And if any one of you have seen Ed Sheeran play, that is how Ed Sheeran plays. This is what this workflow, this pedal is designed to do. It's designed for speed and engagement. Your design, like the, the pedal is like, how can I connect with my audience? How can I connect with um, the music as fast as possible? Um, and that's what this thing does. And then once you're playing the music, it allows you to be really, really creative with that um with that whole landscape but i'll just give you an example of me doing like a like a ed sheeran's loop of, uh shape of you and how i set up the loop myself now um before i jump into it this is the game changer for me right i'm just gonna pull this loop pedal a bit closer so you guys can see why it's the game changer you see those outputs y'all you see them on the top of, where is it on the top oh you can't see my finger go <laughs> But anyway, you can see them on the top of the screen. Those four outputs, oh my God, 
absolutely amazing. Um, they just straight up changed the game for me. So the issue I always had when it came to um, audio production and, and live streaming and, and my, my loop pedal issue was every time I would send outs from my pedal, uh, especially with the RC300, um, if I sent multiple outs, like the stereo out and do all those things and like send like a bass, whatever, this is a bit nerdy stuff, um, you couldn't isolate the input data. So like if I'm playing the guitar or whatever I'm doing, like one of these bad boys, like, like I'm jamming on the guitar um, and I'm just performing and singing a song, then what would happen is if I had like a separate sub track that was going like a, like a sub, like a bass track that was mixed, um, it would be sending the guitar to both of them and I would be monitoring at both of them, which was so annoying because I like to monitor and play the song as well. Um, and so that was like super, super frustrating and I hated it. And so I was like, oh, I had to do like these convoluted methods to try and like make my mix sound good because I couldn't actually customize it. But what this does is I have a separate mix for my guitar track, a separate mix. So if I hit here, bam, this is my guitar. And then I have a bass track. And then I've got a, a beat track, which I have optimized for my, my beatboxing so I can get the... So it gets like a big kick based on the frequency of my beatbox. Um, I can do it with the... But with this Mini Maiden that I have, I don't have like the extra mic input in it. So it just doesn't really like hit hard through the door like when I'm playing online. But if I'm playing live, I will definitely do the smacking. It's a lot easier for me. And then my fourth track is mixed for like backing vocals. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 So it sounds nice. And, um, well, I don't mind it. But the, um, so I can set up four separate mixes and they, and they will all sound great. And then once I've set up my mixes, I can come to track one and bam, I can play the guitar. So that for me was like, I'm done. This is already miles beyond what majority of the loopers are doing. I believe the head rush is the only other one that does it. And like the boss might do it but it's like so garbage honestly um like if you're i'm, I'm this is my two cents i'm sorry if you're a boss guy i was a boss guy i used the boss pedal all the time i was like this is handy the day that this was announced and then i saw that it had four outs and you could customize everything i was like later boss you guys can go like just i would i would throw it into a fire if i could but it's the one i use for pub gigs because i don't take this one out of the studio um, this one stays in the studios. It was donated by the stream, so it stays for the stream. I don't take it to gigs. But it would be savagely amazing uh, at a gig because this thing is just so cool. Now, um, that's just straight on the outputs was already what like blew me away. Now, the workflow of Ed Sheeran is when he swaps into mute mode. And so what happens is you, you turn off tracks and then unmutes them and then you bring them back when you want to. So you're not really like tap dancing, stop, play, stop, play, stop, play. But you can all stop, right? And then bring in the bass and drums and then play. I will show you an example of how I do that in a second. But that was the other thing that was, it took like two songs to get the hang of it. As soon as I got the hang of it, I was like, man, Ed Sheeran is just a, such a genius um, in understanding how to really, like it is It is truly, in my opinion, the best way to connect with an audience. It, It's just so fast. It's so so simple and easy. And it's just... If you really care about the song, that's what you're going to get out of it. So that's the the mute mode. I just love it. It's so good. And these pedals are so easy to not mess up on. Like the amount of times, I don't know how many of you have you guys have had the 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 Aussie experience, but because it's like sometimes it's either like a button or it's like a very like subtle like thing that you step on. Um, these little like tracks are great. They're similar to like the RC 30s ones. But they're really, really um, responsive and easy. Like they uh, feel great to push down. You never like, oh, gotta smack it. Like you never like panicking and you never slipping on them. They're really great. Um, it's such an underrated thing, uh, like the design of this. And also the super, super crazy thing it has, it has four inputs. Four inputs that you can set up your own gain parameters, which is this thing down here. You can see these four down here, boom, boom. Um, so, 
like that's just awesome so if you're someone who loves to have like a bass guitar in your looper you love having guitar in your looper electric guitar in your looper you can set up effects for all of those things and all, all those inputs it's it is the if you're a nerd and you're really awesome at that stuff you are going to have a field day with this thing because it has a lot of customizable things um but yeah so that is for me completely sold like absolutely amazing um yeah i would just if you're trying to think of loot again i'm iterating yes 100 percent. you buy this thing i don't care what anyone says um you you really can't change my mind this thing is honestly underpriced i I'm, i say it right now this thing is underpriced like for to get a good sound out of my rc300 you you would like have to you have to and all my friends do it too like they have to spend heaps of money on extra effects and extra like audio output chains and like preamps that they put on for like to get a better vocal sound to get better eq like just like using eq pedals using like compression pedals like so many things need to be done in order to do that whereas this bad boy it bloody has everything i can go into like my thing over here and and into my effects thing so like my guitar rack here, if I go into it, uh, I'm super bad at this thing. Ah, why can't I just, oh, edit. I'm so dumb, sorry. I haven't done this in a bit. But you've got, you can see here, it's got multiple effects that are digital and they are plenty good for everyone. When I say they're plenty good for everyone, I'm saying 99% of you are gonna be completely fine with this. There is only a 1% of player that is going to be like pushing tone that well and i when i think of musicians out there that that do push that one percent of tone i think of carl walkner honestly outside of that there's really no one who's pushing um live looping in in the sense of tone and arrangement and and just overall sound in their live playing that that's that's really better than him he's just an absolute beast i can link his stuff on um on youtube as well for you guys he's huge inspiration for me um but really, like, this stuff is plenty good. Um, you're going to be able to gig. You're going to be able to play in your bedroom. You're going to be able to record. I mean, I do everything with this stuff, too. Like, it's fantastic. Um, personally, um, when I use my effects for my stuff, like you can see on the guitar, I don't really have anything on my guitar. So I like to do all my guitar processing through my door, which is Ableton, Digital Audio Workstation, if, they, if you're new to what a door means. But... That is like, this is the sheer and looper, right? Like this is how I see it. It's, it's fantastic. Like, and my, my bass channel is the one where I've got like here, my octave pedal and all that stuff. And so I just set up like an octave pedal. Like you could set up compression on here, but I have all that stuff all I put all the compression all on my door, but yeah, it just, it's so great. I will, ha I have a confession, by the way. I can't tell you, I can't, I can't say that this is 100% exactly what it sounds like because it is getting post-processing. I do have a plugin called Resonance Bass, which brings out more resonance out of the octave pedal that I have here. Um, so I can't, I can't really be like, that it sounds epic. I mean, if I was playing out live and I put on the octave pedal, just because of the way that the, the frequency rep response on my speakers would work and how I would have it EQ'd on my mixer, it would sound fat. Like it would 100% sound fat. But when you're in a door, it's a bit challenging because you're, you're focusing on different headphones and different speaker systems. So I try to get like a really balanced bass sound. So I need the um, this plug-in R bass that works really well with it. But but anyway, let's um just because I've been rambling for a little bit, uh, like quite a bit, but let's go into some playing for you guys so you can see how I go into this whole recording process. So I'm going to just jam on this and you're going to hear how it all sounds in the mix. It's really, really groovy. So, oh, I'm sorry. I had a, I had a previous loop there that I got to clear, but did you see how quick that clear the loop? It's fucking awesome. It's so good. Cause it's so annoying when you have to like clear the track so you have to have an extra pedal that you use that you like push it and then it changes the whole track thing like this everything in this has been designed to make it easy just so easy just like get in there and play oh so then 
go to my drum track. And then my bass track. Such a vibe. So now when I get back into the song, um, like I'd be jamming, like, the club in the best place to find it. Oh, sorry. One thing I like to do as well is make sure you come back to the track that you want to monitor on. So I love to always monitor on track one, which is my guitar mix. You can make the mistake by like staying on your bass track. That's what the RC300 would do. It would give you the guitar mix and it would give you this bass mix. So you wouldn't... Never be able to get like a good mix and split the stuff up. It was so annoying. You'd have to do like left and right sends and be very complicated with it. This is just so easy. And then it all fits. So really, it's just awesome. Now, so say I was performing, um, you know, and like we get into the song and then I'm like, I get through the verse and normally I like to have my flow of like, I don't loop during the first verse and then I bring the full loop in the chorus and then I like peel it back off in the second verse and then I bring it back into the chorus, then I do a guitar solo -y thing and then the whole loop comes back in again. Um, so say I was jamming and I'm like chilling, 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 but da 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 and then I do the chorus and I'm like... Like, this thing is just so easy. Just so easy. And that's why I say you got to get it. Um, like, we can go into more complicated stuff um, in how I would mix the routing and stuff. And I probably will use this video in, in, the sh in my Sheer and Looper mastery section that I'm going to have for everyone who's part of our community. So if you're wondering, I have an online music school. It's, it's called uh, Luan School of Music. Uh, it's on the app called School, S-K-O-O-L. The links are all in the description. Um, and we have a free looper course for you guys. So this video will be a part of the course. Um, and what else I will have in there will be the mastery of how I send all the outs and how I bring it into Ableton, how I mix it all, um, just so that you can get like the really cool individual sound that I'm aiming for in, all, in everything I do. But it's just so so good like so i'm gonna buy another one for my gigs for sure um uh it's it's just uh just so brutally it, it smashes the comp competition i just don't know i honestly don't know like once this becomes even more known like it's known um but there's a lot of people that like there's boss dudes that are gonna be like Nah, man, I like my way because you are stuck in the, the rut of what you would do. And now, and that's totally fine. Um, and, and I've recorded people that still do it. I, you know, I still have the RC 300 that I use for like some, you know, bar shows that like, it's not a big deal what my sound sounds like. Um, and most of the time they just want brown eyed girl and sweet Caroline. So that's what I'm playing most of the time anyway. But, uh, 
when it comes to this pedal, like once more and more people know about it, um, you kind of have to untrain bad habits that you built up from the RC300 or like your boss series. And then this thing, as soon as you can get into the flow of it, man, the energy that you can pump out of this thing, the customization that you can pump out of this thing, I'm, or, I'm just touching the surface of it. I've only had it for like just over a month now. And um, yeah, it's just awesome. So if you're getting into the this loop pedal and you really, really want it, you're like, oh, do I get the Sheeran Looper X? Yes, you get the Sheeran Looper X. I don't know how much it costs for you. Um, in Australia, it cost me like, uh, it was like 2,450. I think with shipping everything, like whatever the total price was at that point, um, uh, something around there. And so wherever, whatever the price point is for you guys, um, I think it's like 1300, uh, like 2999 in the U S but whatever it is, uh, save up, get it. Um, I can't stress enough. Like in order to make the other pedal sound good, you need to spend quite a lot of money on the, on the other end. Like, um, the the most hectic loop setup I have seen is Carl Walkner's one, and I think just now he upgraded it even more. He's using the head rush board, which the head rush board is the only thing that I could say that is like on par with this. Um, but I personally have not used it, and I trust Carl Walkner in the way that he would do it. So he would be like very very ninja about like how he wants his stuff, um, but. Like I said, he's one. He's like less than the one percent of musicians uh, that are doing it. Like, um, I don't see many people that can emulate what he does. Uh, they they just truly can't. Like, he is so talented. Uh, well, not talented. He's skilled. He's put in a sh- like stupid amount of hours into his sound. So, um, and he's using like a quad cortex now, I believe. Uh, and he's got like a bunch of really great pedals and a lot of customization options that he has set up with his one. So. You know, his whole setup is probably looking pretty close to like, you know, six, seven thousand dollars Australian. Um, whereas this loop pedal is gonna get ninety-nine percent of you along the along the way that you need to go. It's just that good. Very, very, very handy pedal. Anyway, um, that's it for me talking about this pedal, like why you should get it. Um and yeah, let me know in the comments if this helped you. Uh obviously I, I just I like to riff in my videos. I don't have like a like a, an editor yet one day I will and then it'll look all like concise and but it doesn't so I will go into full mastery and stuff on this uh in another video in the future but um we're getting a lot of questions about this right now people asking like do I get this looper x which looper do I get um and I did explain in a previous video like what loop station you should get but um hopefully this pet this video makes it very clear on my opinion on what pedal you should get um one track looping, two track looping. Honestly, do not waste your time. Get one of these bad boys. It's a big unit. I know it's expensive. Um, it is not. It is a 110% not a waste of money, uh, in my opinion. It is just if you jump into it and you start having heaps of fun with it, and I will have a course like on, I'll break down all the songs that I like to loop, and you guys can request songs you want me to teach you how to loop. Um, but this thing is just going to get you so far so quickly. Um, it's going to break down all of the learning, like all the learning barriers that I had to go through. Just, they're just gone. There's, there's so much challenge in spending on budget stuff. Like we had a question on YouTube, like, what do you reckon is a better budget unit that I can get? It's like, you can go and save money, but typically every time I've saved money on budget things like a budget pedal or a budget setup, it's always netted me a bigger headache. It's always given me more problems when I should have just spent the money and just got the right thing. This is that. Like, you're not going to get anything close to this um, for the money that is off. It's actually, I'm so astounded that it's that cheap. Like, this thing should easily be like 3,000 plus Australian. I, I don't know why it's that cheap. Like, it should easily be a $2,000 US pedal. Like, it's that good. And it has that much, like room to grow the fact that you can download um the fact that you basically downloading uh ed sheeran's brain his workflow this is designed how he would do his loops um he is the number one looper in the world like if we look objectively it which looper can perform into in front of the most people in the world and he's the guy um 
He's done it on an RC, like, and he's proven his skill set. Like, he's got the RC30. You can go look up the video. I'll, I'll put the link in the vid, in the description of him with an RC30. So you can, you know, he's got chops. He knows exactly how to do it. He loops better than anyone. Um, he's an absolute savage. There's a video of him doing You Need Me, I Don't Need You in the studio, and he's doing it on RC30. It's a two track looper that has like all these button, like you've got to do like these tap dancing moves to swap the tracks. He's isolating, stripping layers, bringing in multiple layers, restarting the song, doing all while rapping and singing and perform. Like, holy, the amount of skill that he had with the shitty equipment. And then he takes all that skill, all that knowledge. He has all that experience and he put it into this pedal and he's given it to us. Oh my God. Him and his team, they are so clever. And this whole system, this mute mode system that he, that they have, where you can isolate everything and you can isolate the tracks the way you want and you can blend them and be very creative. I'm sure the Head Rush does a very similar thing because they work really closely with Head Rush and how they do it. But nah, this thing, oof. Mm. I'm just so grateful. Like one grateful to the community. They, they, um, they purchased this for us. Um, but I'm just so glad that when I was like, uh, I personally, I felt hopeless. I was like, every time I would turn on my stream, every time I would perform, I would like, oh, I just wish I could have more control. I wish I could have more control. And it was the thing that bothered me all the time. I wanted more control. I wanted it to be easy. But it's like, man, why can't I? Why can't I? Why can't I? And then, lo and behold, in the morning I woke up. It was a, it was a Thursday morning. I think it was a Thursday morning, I believe. And then I get a message uh, from one of our followers, Dylan. He's like, did you see this? And I was like, what did I see? And it's boom. It's Carl Walkner posting a video. He's like, hey, I've got this really cool thing I've been working on. And it's the shoot Looper X. And then lo and behold, boom, Ed Sheeran's posting a bunch of stories and then a bunch of people posting. I was like, oh my God, this thing is insane. Then I follow what Dylan bought it. And then as soon as I asked him, hey, can you monitor in just one track? And he's just like, yeah, man. He, j he tested it for me. And I was like, oh my God, this thing already solved all my problems. So four outputs allows you to give heaps of customization. Um, this thing is just stupidly awesome. Uh, so yeah, my two cents, buy it. Throw away your other stuff, buy this thing. You don't need to get any extra effects. All the effects on here is plenty good for the average person. Um, anything that is um, challenging and you're like, oh my God, I need more like fancier stuff. Um, that's a you thing. Um, it's going to be a learning curve no matter what to do the looping and a learning curve on how to stack the effects that you want to do. Um, I can help you guys set it up. I'm sure there's going to be a way uh, maybe in the future I can set up like uh, a loop for you guys. I might add in the description in the future, but maybe there's a way I haven't figured it out yet, but I can load my loops and then I can put them on the cloud, on the on the line. I'll put the loop on the line and then you'll get my exact mix and I'll build a I'll mix for live performance for you guys. So you guys can at least have something to start from. You'll know exactly how to do it. Um, it'll be like a live mix. that will be like, this is how you route everything and it will sound good. Um, and then you won't be worried. So thanks so much for tuning into my video. I know it's a long one. Um, I love this thing. So I really want to give you my two cents and not like um, leave any stones unturned. Obviously, I'm not a, the technical guy. There's heaps of tech reviews and stuff. will give you like, this is the all the fancy things. And like, but this is the musician's review. This is from the perspective, the lens of a musician. Anyway, good luck and hope you guys have fun with this. And I will see you guys in the next videos that I post. And if you're in the looping course, um, Let's get into some mastery of this Looper X and see how you guys can achieve my sound as fast as possible. All right, see you guys soon.